Hey everybody, this weekend's project was a bronze plaque. I want to show you how I made it, starting with designing it in CAD. So here we are in Fusion 360. I created a new project, made a new sketch, and first just drew a couple of rectangles. So my entire project would be six inches wide by four inches tall. I designed this so it would have rounded corners and a border. I extruded the border to 0.35 inches high and then extruded the middle area to a quarter inch tall and then the text to that same 0.35 height. You might not notice it right away, but uh, this wasn't a straight extrusion. I actually made it so that all the otherwise vertical angles had a five degree draft to them. That way it would make it easier to pull this out of the sand mold. The software allows me to add some different appearances so I can see how the final project might look, but even better than that, I can add physical properties such as the, the actual metal that this is made out of. And since this, the software knows the density and can calculate the volume, one thing pretty cool here is it will tell me how much this is going to weigh, what the mass of the metal will be. Uh, that's super handy for metal casting because now I know how much metal I need to melt down just for making the plaque itself. After that, it's time to send this off to the 3D print software. And from there, I can send it to my 3D printer and make a physical copy of this. So a couple hours later, I had this plastic physical version of it. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, but you can see there's some of these strong layer lines that ended up showing up. And those will definitely come through in a sand cast. So what I did was I gave it a light sanding and then uh, applied a layer of spray paint, uh, automotive primer. And that actually seemed to really smooth things out pretty well. And this looked a lot better than just the bare print did. For the actual sand mold, it mostly requires a lot of sand and a special box. I'll give you the abbreviated version. Uh, basically, putting the 3D print down flat at the bottom of an open box, covering it with talc as a mold release, then covering it with slightly damp sand and pounding it down. Then flipping the whole thing over, adding a second section of open box, add some more talc, pack that with sand, split the two, remove the 3D print. Now my first one failed, which meant I had to start all over again. Fortunately, the second one was better. Uh, then at this point, I dug a trough for the molten metal to go through, and in the top half of the box, a hole to pour the metal into. Then removing the 3D print, we can see the second time wasn't perfect either. Uh, there was a little bit of sand stuck in the center of the few of the letters, but I thought it would work well enough for this attempt. Um, after removing the print, it's reassembling the mold and taking it outside. I weighed out the amount of metal that I wanted to melt down, and after that, it's time to play with fire.
Here's after uh, just hitting this with a wire wheel for a few minutes. With the metal being all cleaned up, the next step was to give it two coats of gloss black spray paint and letting that dry. I tried using a mill to machine the surface, but since this is mostly silicon bronze, it actually has very poor machinability. Uh, so instead, it was time to just go to sandpaper. After that, it was a matter of some gentle cleanup with soap and water and drying it off. I did do just a little bit of touch up on the paint, and then I also drilled and countersunk the four corners for mounting screws. The final project weighed in just under two pounds, or if you prefer, 31.3 ounces or 887 grams. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty pleased with the project. As a complete amateur when it comes to trying out new things, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the fact that it's relatively thin but large and that I got a complete cast uh, meant I was pretty happy with it. And of course, every project is a learning experience. If you like projects like these, you might want to check out some others, like how I built my own electric car or how we built the garage and installed solar panels on it. As always, make sure to read the video description for links and more info. Like, comment, and subscribe, and check us out on Patreon and at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up!